I mean, obviously most of it was for selfish reasons, but I was really trying. So one day in the lab we were working on that. I'll be right back, Flowey. I just need to grab some samples from cold storage. Mm-hmm. Huh? When one of those face plump amalgams shows up, those things weren't like the other amalgamates. I don't even think Alphys knew who or what they were. All the other test subjects were accounted for in the other amalgams, and these things seem to mostly keep themselves hidden. Well, I think if things really went wrong, I could just always reset. And I was curious to see what would happen. So... Uh, yeah, sure, I'll join you. Then hold still. Uh, that was a huge mistake. Just... Imagine living inside your own worst memories. And everyone else's. Forever. Chara, please, wake up. We'll be strong. No. We'll free everyone. I said I wouldn't doubt Just how it's gonna work. Your size the last test subjects. No, not you two. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Dr. Gaster. We can't lose anyone else. It just needs more power. Then it'll work. I... I can't feel my arms and legs! You killed him! What have you done? How could you be so careless? Monster! Monster. Murder! Murder! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it. They deserve it. It just can't be done. You'll never see him again. Can't save them. File not found. It's overloaded! We cannot control it! No! No! no. I can't! I don't want to! Don't let go! 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 Think is, I never saw that guy again. Not in any reset. Like, he only existed in that bad memory. But now I can't help wondering. You think a memory head prank called me? Ugh, no, stupid! I'm saying I wonder if the Dr. Gaster I saw in those memories maybe was the same guy the mystery voice called you about. But, if neither of us ever saw him, then what does it mean? How should I know? I don't know. I'm just curious now. <laughs> <laughs>